So right now I am in Normandy, France, and, and we've been trying to take a look at a, a few actions that took place beyond the beaches. Well, after the Seventh Corps under the command of General Joe Collins uh, had made inroads from Utah Beach, well, they started making their way up to Cherbourg. Uh, you have the, the 4th Infantry Division, the 79th and the 9th Infantry Division. And while that was happening, Old General Collins set up his headquarters right here in this chateau. And after the fall of Cherbourg, there was a rather historic event that took place right here in this spot. Well, this is the Chateau de Servigny, and I'm probably mispronouncing that. Uh, and like I said, this is where General Lightning Joe Collins, who was the 7th Corps commander, had his headquarters during the peninsula part of the Normandy campaign. Uh, I've been running around all over Normandy with Eric, and he actually knows the groundskeeper here. Uh, so we're going to be able to, to go inside here in just a little bit. But this spot right here is where General von Schlieben signed the surrender of all German forces on the uh, peninsula here in Normandy. Uh, so very historic place. Uh, it's raining on us right now uh, and it seems to be getting worse, but we're going to check out a few things before we go inside. Now before General Collins could set up his command center here, uh, at the chateau, well, it had to be wrestled away from the Germans. Germans had this place all throughout the occupation. And it was the 79th Infantry Division who fought to wrestle this from the Germans. And right here at this bridge, well, they have the story of a first lieutenant by the name of Dominic Ternan, who was a chaplain in the 315th Infantry Regiment of the 79th Infantry Division. But uh, on the 19th of June, he was administering last rites to a soldier right here at this bridge and was killed by a sniper. And uh, they have a, a monument to him right here at the chateau. So right here in the gates that offer an entrance into the grounds of the chateau, uh, right here on June 26th is where General von Schlieben would have entered. And uh, there, there's something that's kind of interesting up here. And you have to really look close, but etched into this stone, well, there was some American GI decided to carve his name in here. Uh, some guy by the name of Bob Carlin from Kansas uh, etched his name right here in this stone. All right. We're going to uh, go inside now, uh, but I do need to uh, make note that, that this is a private residence, so we can't go showing every room in the house, uh, but we are going to go to where uh, a very important historical event took place. All right, we just got upstairs in the chateau here where Collins had his headquarters. And I love going to places 
and visiting specific spots where big historic events took place, and this is one of them. Uh, right here in this very room is where General Collins accepted the surrender of the German general uh, von Schlieben in the Battle of Normandy. All right, now there are a few things in here that they have that uh, kind of harken back to the event that took place here on the 26th of June, 1944. Uh, they have some pretty cool artifacts, one of them being this, uh, this sign here that was here on the premises in June of 44. Uh, so just kind of uh, an informational sign telling you where everything was. Uh, of course, with the Seventh Corps, anywhere where Collins sets up, that's going to be the nerve center of the entire course. There would be a lot going on. But this desk right here is the very desk where Collins accepted the surrender of General von Schlieben. So, so interesting to be in this room. Here at the uh, chateau, they, they have some really interesting artifacts, including some of these paper artifacts. And this one in particular I found really interesting. If, if you look at this photo, uh, this is von Schlieben right here in the middle. To the, uh, his right and our left is General Statler, two very important figures when it comes to the German army in Cherbourg. And uh, this photo was taken as they were arriving here at the chateau. It was actually raining that day, much in the same way that it's raining here today. Well, after the signing, uh, they turned this photo into a piece of American propaganda to drop over the German lines to try and get them to surrender and demoralize them and uh, basically try and convince them that, that the war was lost. Uh, but yeah, this is really, really interesting that they took this event and then turned it into this piece of propaganda. This is a copy, but it's still really fascinating. It's something else that they have here. Uh, this is a copy of a letter that General Collins sent to the commanding general of the 79th Infantry Division um, on the 28th of June, 1944, uh, congratulating him on the taking of Fort de Rule up in Cherbourg. That was a monster of a fort, and uh, there there was uh, a heck of a fight to take it. Uh, but anyway, after the fall of Cherbourg, yeah, Collins sent this letter. Just a few other interesting things in here. Uh, I, I mentioned that this was the headquarters for Collins during the Battle of Cherbourg, so here we have a picture of Collins in the map room. And uh, later on, well, he would come back and visit this place. So if you look here at this 48-star American flag, well, they have it hanging in here. And right in the middle, uh, you can see where uh, General Collins himself signed this American flag. Well, that was certainly unique and, and definitely interesting. Uh, this is a place that, again, it's a private residence, so access into here is, is not the easiest. But I'm glad that we were able to go in here and uh, be able to share this location and, uh, and some of the, the history behind it. As for now, the, uh, the rain is continuing to pick up. So I think we're going to shut it down and uh, head on to the next place.